Hello and welcome to another episode of Hearts of Stone with Early Game Gear, which is a Witcher 3 expansion. We're playing with the Warrior's Leather's Jacket and the Viper Swords from the early Witcher 3 base game. Right now we are down in the Oxenfurt sewers trying to track down this big monster that's killing people. Monster left via this tunnel. We'll never make it through there. Need to find another way. My old pal Shanny's with me. We're she's here to gather a sample of the monster's venom because people are getting contaminated by its poison being down here in the water. And uh, oh yes, we're also we're playing on Death March difficulty. So uh, we know for sure that the lair is this way, the monster's lair. So let's go on in here. Decaying corpses, slime everywhere, and that stench. This has to be the lair. Fresh and moist. Beast was just here. I'll collect my sample. Huh. All the tunnels and corridors converge here. What now? Need to lure the beast. How? We don't even know what kind of monster it is. But we do know it likes a blend of blood and liquor. Just so happens I've got some alcohol on me. Well, I hope you don't plan to cut yourself or... Relax. Plenty of bodies. I'll use one of them. Well, I'm gonna try to get Shiny to go out and save herself. There's no really no need for her to be here, but knowing her, she'll probably stick around because she'll want to patch me up afterward. Sample you collected enough? Hope so. But I'd still like to get some pure venom, once you've killed the monster. To distill an antidote? No use for it once the beast's dead. Not true. I have a few poison patients on hand. Besides, I can study the venom, test it, maybe discover some interesting properties. Yep, she's a scientist. Alright, I'm gonna get the beast out then. I'll get to work. Hmm. I doubt I'd be much help in the fight, but you might need me afterwards. I'll look for a hiding place. You'd be better off waiting for me up top, or back home. But- No buts. Wait in the passage for now if you have to, though I'd rather you didn't. But when the monster shows, you run for the surface. Ugh, fine. Shani, look at me. Promise you'll stay out of it. I promise. Good. Now go hide. Be careful, Geralt.
This guy's tough. But I heard my potion refill, so that's good. Ooh. Yeah, he jumps. It's been a while since I fought him. It's hard to attack him from behind. Ooh, he's got a tongue. Ooh, a fast tongue. Jump attack. Oh, he squirts like acid or something. Um, that's probably poison. Toad Prince. Did I hit him? I have hit him, and his health bar didn't go down at all. <laughs> that probably means I'm doing like very little damage. Ouch. And he busted through my Quen and did damage. That's not good. Oh, watch out! Yep, that attack is bad, that jump attack. Ooh! That's like, uh, is that poison? Look, he made poison spots. And then I just jumped into him. I gotta get the timing now. I've got my golden Oriole going, so these poison spots should heal me. Yes, they do. That's good. Oh! Alright, this poison is what's... The golden Oriole and his poison attack is what's gonna save us, I think, if we survive this. Be able to use those little poison pockets he makes to go heal him. I just gotta get the timing down for attacking him. Looks like I have started to do some damage to his health bar. I see a little sliver missing. Oh, man. His tongue is fast. I got the thunderbolt going. Not sure if I could use an oil or not. Love to get behind him. So there's a place where I can like. There's gotta be a sweet spot. Oh, my timing's bad. Here comes the poison where I can heal. I stand in the cloud, see my health going up. So that's pretty helpful. There's gotta be a sweet spot where I can get like two or three hits on him in a row. Is there anything else I can do? Is it other sword? That's more attack power. Why don't we try that one? Because she said someone threw a torch at it and it didn't affect it. So maybe you can't burn it. Um, I'm not sure about oils or decoctions. I already got, I've already got two decoctions going. I don't think I have a bestiary entry for this thing. I totally do not. I'm sure of it. Where would it be? I don't even know what, what this thing is. Yeah. yeah. I think we just gotta go with what we got. We'll try this attack sword. We can attack. Increase attack power. The healing, healing poisons. Nice, nice. Thank you. Thanks, Toad Prince. Oh, what? His tongue is not a good thing. Oof. Watch out! Ouch. That was a critical hit and only did like 200 hit points. Yeah, that was like 110 points of damage, so this is going to take a while. Ouch. That was a pretty good spot. If you can attack him from the side with his tongue's out, you can get a couple hits. You got to watch out for that jump, though. <laughs> and the tongue is really bad. Yeah.
gotta hang out in this poisonous gas for a little bit to heal up. Ouch. And avoid the tongue if possible. Oh! <laughs> Ouch. Surprised that didn't kill me. Here's some more poison missiles. I guess they, if they hit you, they hurt. Sort of stand in the poison. The poison like, is totally healing me right now. Otherwise, I'd be dead, I think. There's no way I could keep swallows going for this long. Ooh, that was a couple good hits. Ouch! There's gotta be a time in between when he's his tongue's out. Or maybe you can attack him when uh, attack him when he's shooting shooting the uh Ooh, that's gonna work. Maybe. It, it did freeze him a little bit. Had a couple of hits. There's gonna be a time though when you can attack him when he's shooting his uh either his tongue out or his poison missiles. And you can get like three or four hits in. <laughs> hmm. Just looking at more options, what else I can do. My or my golden oil ran out, so I definitely gotta refill that. I've got three more of those northern winds. Definitely be using that. I'll probably try some of the other bombs too. Alright, now quick, get some hits. That was pretty good. We got uh, like three hits in. Whoa. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> man, he's bad. And by bad, I mean he's really good. Oh, my cat's worn off. It's not too dark in here, though, so I think I'm gonna... Ouch. I think I'm going to, uh... Not take another cat. It must be about time for a tongue attack. Ooh, yep, and he still got me. Damn you. I could really use some, uh, here we go. That's what I need, to heal him. Thank you. Oh, my timing though. That was pretty good, I got two hits in the air. Ouch! Timestamp in this to show how. So, so if you want, don't want to watch the whole fight, you can skip ahead. That's it for the northern northern wind. Let's try something else. If we could like poison him or light him on fire, that will do a lot of damage, I think, because that takes like a percentage of their health every, every second. Although I doubt, I, I doubt very much we'll be able to poison him. Ooh, look. That's pretty good. That did good damage. He stays on fire. He's still on fire. He's almost down to one third of his health. That's good. If we can catch him on fire, that would uh, 
That would do good good for us. Yeah, see, we got him on, on fire again. And now he's down to uh, one uh, two thirds health. Still got one more bomb. We'll try it. Good, we got him on fire again. That time it didn't last that long. I think I'm gonna switch over to the to the fire sword, and I'm gonna try some new bombs too. I'll try drape shot, and maybe we can put him to sleep and attack him while he's like uncon un un like uh, you know. Un 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 Oh, hey, great shot for us. Not that much damage, it's like 250, 235. More than my sword, so it's worth doing. Try this one, see if we can blind him. Yep. Oh, shit. Ooh, ouch. We did blind him though, just so briefly. Now he's gonna heal us. Thanks, frog. Oh, bad timing. Ouch. Ooh, I'm bad at avoiding that tongue. Halfway yet, though, with him. Oh, shit. I think I'm going to switch back to this burning sword because if I can light him on fire, I know she said that the torch that the soldiers threw at him didn't do anything, but those fire bombs. Did a lot of damage. Ouch! When they uh, caught him on fire. So if I could get him on fire, even though it's probably a, only a small chance of me doing so, it would kill him a lot quicker. Ooh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. He put the fire out, but it did a bunch of damage to him, at least for a couple seconds there. He's got to be like almost halfway.
There we go. That was a bunch of hits. Oop, my golden Oriole ran out. I need another one of them for sure. Still got four more of them, so that's good. I think we should be able to eventually wear him down and beat him. As long as I don't get too low on health. The, gold, the superior golden Oriole will ensure that I get free healing. Wonder if I should try some more bomb. Maybe I could throw a dragon's dream and then ignite it with my igni. Hmm. I don't know if any of that stuff's gonna do anything. We have those other two grape shots we can use. Very powerful. Only like 134 damage. I only had two of them. Hopefully get some healing in before I go in again for another attack. There's some healing over here to be had. Nice. Watch out for the tongue. Oh, I said watch out for the tongue. There we go. Health, health is full again. Try the Igni. Ah, wasn't close enough. I'm not exactly a magic build, so it takes forever for my stamina to build back up. Oh, I was standing in it. <laughs> not sure how good that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to try it a few times. Oh, that was too that was bad. There we go. Try it again. I can just catch him on fire, that's the ultimate goal. I see a spider over here. Ah, I missed it. Now I'm out of those. Do some more healing if you got a minute.
slowly getting down to where he only has a third of his health left. stuck on there. There we go. Ow. I'm wondering if once he gets down to like a third of his health left, his pattern might change a little, which happens sometimes. He's gotta be right about there. Ow. Ow. Put my golden Orioles fixing to run out, I gotta take another one of them. Gotta pop another golden oriole here. Mine just ran out. I still got two more. Should be enough to finish this guy off, I hope. <laughs>
burning sword works pretty good when I can catch him on fire. I'm trying to think of other swords I could have used too that maybe would have helped. Like maybe a freezing sword. You could get a you could freeze him and get an extra hit or two on him while he's frozen. And maybe like a stagger sword. The stagger, even though I never had much success with it at other times. Seems like stagger could um, keep him off guard enough where you could like really hammer him. But that was a pretty good right there. It seemed like I staggered him kind of kind of a little bit right there. He's getting down there now. Hopefully soon we'll finish him off. We're doing good on ouch. I was just gonna say we're doing good on health. Mostly thanks to the golden oriole. Bleeding is another one I could try. Or I could have tried. I'm not going to try it now, obviously. I don't have a bleeding sword. Jeez, alright. A few hits in on. Ow. Another, uh, another up close. Ooh, not that. Use another up close series of uh, sword sword work on him. Maybe a couple more times catching him on fire. That would really help. Watch out. Ooh, ouch! Come on, you toad bastard! Nice, 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 nice. Look out! Ouch. Oop, watch the health. Watch the health. Get our health back. Thanks to the Golden Oriole. Yes! Ooh, yes! I'll whoop. Okay, all my items have been replenished. That's good. Now we are. Sounds like on a boat. Oh, what's going on? Ah, he's finally come to. And he can speak human, turns out. Started thinking I'm not conversed in common the whole way, except maybe with my reflection in the piss bucket. Where... where am I? On the Albatross. 
or the fuck bath oil, as their strange tone has it. En route to a fear. Oh, Don't fear. Signing on as a sailor. <laughs> oh, you didn't, mate. They dragged you aboard. Seems you killed that prince. Hmm. I do remember. Oh, toad in the sewers. Damn it. Should consider myself lucky, I guess. Could have killed me on the spot. Depends how you look at it. Happen to know a bit of a theory. Heard them saying they come here on a mission, dispatched by their king to find their prince, lift his curse. Wagered their honor, and that of their families five generations back, that they'd bring him home safe and sound. And I killed him. Great. So, must think they can save their honor by bringing the prince's murderer back to face the king's justice. Hmm. Let's find out as much as we can about this stuff. All these things. Listen, there was a young woman, a medic, red hair. They capture her too? Don't recall seeing anyone of the sort. We were alone. Good. Means she managed to flee. Hopefully made it home. We'll be seeing Shani later. Don't worry, and Geralt. Who might you be? Felipe Caligran, at your service. Petty thief, professional fence. And your guide about Oxenford. One of a bit of time. And why are you here? You kill a prince too? Well, to their thinking, I had a hand in this one's death. See, I was their guide. Led them down into the sewers. But not until after you'd cut their prince's gut up. Sorry about that. Not your fault, mate. When all said and done, could have sat on my ass in the alchemy playing Gwent. Didn't have to brag about knowing Oxenford better than my own breeches. We've been at sea long? To know Riley, not that long. Though, on the other hand, <laughs> but what's it matter, any road? Matters a lot. If they're hauling me off to hang me, I'm not in a hurry to arrive. Hey, I'm glad to be silent to a fear. I hear they got wild horses there, white with black stripes. Always wanted to see one of them. Sure, they're not black horses with white stripes. <laughs> hey, black horses with white stripes they got in Zangwebar. That I'm sure of. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Tried to break out yet? Uh, used every ounce of charm I got. Nothing doing. Might be my Aferi's, Rusty. My Aferi's non-existent. Well, we'll be at sea at least a month. I'll teach you something that time. El Cal Orial. What's that mean? I told us to shut up. There's been a misunderstanding. Can I talk to your captain? El Cal Sorkan, Galavat Kar U Albata Agel. Quiet, dog. You killed our prince, and you'll pay for that. Gilea Bala, Carvereta Nel. You'll be dead already. Revhagar ne Aram e Kazi. This is not ours to reap, Anna. Dorgate ye Alami. We swore on our honor. How do I say? Take me to your captain. Valf Alakhe ul Egulath. What? El Kal. Valf. Oh, I don't even remember what he said. I have no clue. Alege ur igileth el kal in kal avr ikel ugeherevn ul vitar in shaafal kolayath. What just happened? What did he say? Said to sit quiet, and that you'll hang in two weeks. And then he added something like, "We'll see who's in the mood for jokes then." Why? What did I say? Uh, along the lines of, I want your nose bouncy bouncy. Utter nonsense. Great. Give it a rest. No point talking to that lot. All you get is angry gurgles. And they puff up, you notice? While them fish. What's it they're called? There anyone here who speaks common? Ah, there's this mercenary with them. Looks Adernian to me. He's the one recruited me to show him through the sewers. Oh! And the mage, what leads them, knows a bit. Heard him talking. But I doubt either will talk to you. Uh, I was you. Catch some shot eye. I'll go on flapping my tongue. I've got a long voyage ahead. Sleep's not what I need. Someone I can actually communicate with. That's what I want. Greetings, Geralt. Remember me? 
Sure do. White Orchard. I remember. We met in White Orchard. Your Gaunter Odin, known also as Master Mirror. I helped you find your Yennefer. We meet again. And it seems you need my help again. Heard a noose awaits you. That is, if this slot doesn't kill you first. Yeah, what are you doing here? How'd you get in here? Long story, but it bore you. I'd prefer to focus on something more useful, like getting you off this ship. Because you do wish to disembark, do you not? Yeah, sure. But what on earth could you? Oh, more than you'd ever expect. I shall help you, Geralt. But before I do, I must know you'll return the favor. Right. Can't possibly get something for nothing. Indeed. When all's said and done, I am a merchant. So, do you want my help? Yes. It's a deal. Once it's all over, we shall meet at midnight at the crossroads, neath the willows near the village of Yantra. Ah, and I must give you something to remember me by. Ooh, ouch. What's that? A mark to show we're associates. Whoa. Who are you gabbing with? With no one. Oh, never like boats. Not one bit. I heave like devils. Make me stomach churn. Oh, it'd be prime to sleep through the whole thing. 